Hi everybody, my name is David. Um, welcome back, I'm going to say. I uh, used to do some Stormworks Sea Trials uh, on this channel and now I'm going to do a whole trial, flight test, sea trial of this SRS collection here uh, that you can find in Stormworks. Uh, I used to do sea trials because I've got a background as a naval architect. Uh, I worked in shipbuilding software for 20 years, uh, making 3D CAD software, so this Stormworks world of making 3D ships with logic and all this kind of stuff really appealed to me. Um, but I feel like this collection is so good, I have to do some uh, tests of these things. So I will do the vessels that are in here. I'm going to start with helicopters because the helicopter collection here is really good. If you look at this collection, you can see there's actually quite a few different creators here. Uh, Jan, Qwop, uh, Carnival. And they've got a really good collection here that allows you to build up. You can use it in career mode or you can just use it in a custom uh, kind of uh, what you call a creative mode. So I'm going to start with this Brizo. Um, this is their starter helicopter. It's more simple to operate and use. It's a good beginner helicopter. It's also very small, so it's kind of uh, cheaper to build and buy if you're going to um, get this in career mode. But I'm just going to play this in the creative mode. So you can see here a small helicopter. A uh, really good presentation here, pretty um, straightforward start-up procedure. And I'm just going to jump into Stormworks and show you that in the editor. So I've subscribed to it and as you can see here, small helicopter. And if I do a little section cut, which I usually do for the ships, you can just about see here that it's got, uh, I think it's a four-cylinder, so a four-cylinder modular um, engine. So one of the little internal combustion engines, not a turbine engine in this case. Um, and there is, even though there is an exhaust coming out the top there, it is a piston one. And it's got winch on the side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just spawn it in. Um, a little bit about this channel while I do a walk around. Um, so this is not going to be edited. I just do straight one cuts. This is the second time I've done this to get the sound right. Um, but I don't really bother with editing. And it's not the kind of, it's the kind of place you come just to see a list of curated vehicles, which I think are fly well or, you know, easy to use in the game Stormworks. Um, and of course, I've got a little bit of a technical background. So I have flown with my father as a kid a lot in private, small aircraft, like aircraft, like little Cessnas and Grumman Cheetah, Grumman Tiger. Um, he actually had a measure smith at some point of his life. Um, and I do a bit of sim flying, so I, I do quite a lot of heli flying in DCS. So I do like my helicopters and I do Microsoft Flight Sim and all these other things. So that's the background and this channel is just where you come to get a bit of a curated view and a little technical test of some of these creations. So that's the helicopter, nice and small, not too much to say about the outside. We can see here the winch. They've got access to the back um, through the door panels, which are the buttons are usually hidden uh, behind things. So you need to kind of look around. Uh, so we'll just get in. Um, these flight tests, which I'm going to do, will basically involve a startup procedure, um, a look around the outside, a look around the inside, a speed test, a station keeping test in the wind. And uh, that's about it. So this one startup procedure is very easy. The, you can see the main battery is on. We just hit engine on and instruments on. And then you can choose your lights according to uh, the flight conditions. So it's um, pretty good outside. I've got a custom menu going on here. So let's just make it the weather uh, really good. So you can see there, engine spins up. This is all done with scripting and a kind of logic control behind the scenes in the game. Um, so you don't need to worry about any of this stuff. It just starts up. Once that RPM's up at um, above 800, you're basically ready to go. Um, we've got all the kind of basic instruments you'd need in here. This module here, if you like, is pretty much the same in all the SRS collection. It allows you to put your autopilot on and you have a few modes here, but we'll, we're not gonna, we'll come back to that in some of the more advanced tests. That's where you put in your waypoint. Um, yeah, there's not too much to, more to say about this, this is where most of your lights are, um, more autopilot input. So let's just get going. So this one doesn't have wheels. Um, 
the way I use uh, Stormworks at the moment is just through the keyboard. So WASD will do your cyclic, which is basically controlling um, the whole disk of the blades above you. And then the arrow keys, the cursor keys up and down will increase the angle of attack on the blades. So you can see they were actually lifting off. And now I can tilt forward slightly and taxi out of here. And it'll what you call a hover taxi in helicopters. So we're now out. Um, left and right will do your effectively your left and right rudder pedals. And I'm sure some of you have noticed here I've left the door open, so thanks for that. Um, one of the characteristics of, of pretty much all Stormworks helicopters is that they, once you get them up to a certain height, you let go of the controls, they'll just hover there. Um, the other thing, and this is, I think it's through um, scripting, what the creators have done is, if you move around and you take your hands off the controls, most of them go into kind of auto hover mode. So you can see here it's drifting around and it's trying to find, it's correcting itself um, using the scripts. And it's just trying to find a position where it will get into equilibrium. So that's um, kind of the auto hover behavior. So all of them do that. Um, right, so I'm going to just take her up a little bit more, pressing up on the arrow key. And first test is going to be a speed test. So I'm just going to fly off away from these mountains, nose down, and I'm holding W, so full nose down, and we'll just see what kind of speed she gets up to there. So 70, 80. No other input apart from holding the nose down here. And this, uh, you can see there, yeah, she's pretty much reached maximum speed, 130 knots. Yep, yeah, so I'll call it 130 knots. You can see there, it's a pretty good speed for a helicopter. Second test I thought of doing, and these tests might change in the future, is to do a station keeping test. So that's really her ability to keep station in wind. And this will really depend on how powerful uh, she is. So the sort of engine power to weight ratio, size of the, the blade, all these kind of things. So I'm gonna just fly over this little mountain here. So we've got some fixed point of reference just tapping the keys. If anybody knows how to set up controllers in a really nice way for Stormworks, please let me know because I've never found a satisfactory way of, of using controllers. So I've, I've let go of the controls. Uh, I'm pushing back now just to, to get her to stop. And I want to go somewhere where I can see my shadow. All right, so I've let go of controls and she will kind of come to a halt here. Drift around a little bit. All of them drift a little bit. Um, you can hear the wind there, but I think that's just an effect you get when you're at the top of mountains. You can see the wind is set to zero. And my station keeping test is basically 50% wind, or it's close to, it's not gonna be super scientific. And you can see there that the scripting in these vehicles will basically correct and push against uh, the wind there so it'll be applying effectively some sidewards uh, kind of I don't know what you call it yeah side left down if you like uh, to try and hold against that so it's fine in 50% wind put her up to 75 so you can see there it's drifting in 75 which means she probably let's try 65 she probably can't hold 75, 64, where she is just now. You can see there the tilt that's been put in by the scripting. Yeah, so she can hold 64, probably 65% wind. Uh, I don't know what that translates to as a wind speed, but it's pretty much a full-on gale, so that's not bad. So she could, you could take her out in a storm, um, and what that means is you could rescue somebody in a storm uh, pretty well. So... There are probably some other tests I could do. I've tried to think of ways to do these in a short video form. Um, fuel range is something, um, so every helicopter's got slightly different instruments and uh, this one is obviously pretty limited, but we should be able to see here fuel. You can see it's going down here. It looks like this is gonna have a, you know, it says two hours I think on the description, um, but this helicopter should be able to fly around for quite a long time at that fuel burn rate, you can see there how quickly it's going down. 
Um, now, there is a risky test that I'm going to do. So a lot of people play Stormworks single player, I'm jumping out, and that means they have to go and rescue people by themselves. So I'm just using the F to get onto these seats here. Now, a good test is can you winch yourself down and rescue somebody? So all of these SRS helicopters have um, this kind of winch setup where you can get into the master or the harness side. When you get into the master, you are now in this winch and you can see there you can use uh, the keys so that's just a little bit of the, the physics there you can use the keys and you can winch yourself down in theory you could jump out and pick somebody up and put them into the other side of the winch and then winch yourself back up um, but basically my test is can I winch myself in and out of it and can I get in the helicopter again and so oops Ooh, okay you can die from that so if you get pushed into the blades you can die so you just need to watch that um that they, it hooks up a little bit on the skids there right now here's the bit a lot of people are looking uh, for advice on how to do let me just put the sounds down a little bit That'll help um so you can hear my voice a bit better so this is the tricky bit. If you want to get out of this harness, uh, some helicopters people used to just try and jump out and then quickly jump onto a seat by pressing F. And this one, you need to grab these grab handles here. So you hit E. Uh, you might be able to tether, I'm not too sure. What this means is your hand is effectively grabbing that handle. So you can now press F to get out. You can see there that the guy is hanging. This is very risky because you can Put yourself into the blades now if you kind of you could sometimes rotate yourself down inside kind of looking up it's not working too well uh, you can get into the blade so the second strategy is to hit f when you look at a seat so we're gonna so any seat i see i can click on there you go so it's a tricky 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 high risk maneuver uh, but you can do it and that's uh, how I did it. It works out differently every time you do it Right, so that's why that auto hover is important. We're going to bring her off station We're going to land her And just as on the way there I'm going to turn that wind down because 65% is the sort of operational limit and Bring her down for a landing in front of the hangar so the way these helicopters are all configured, you can use the keys effectively. It's obviously not a flight sim, but there's enough physics in Stormworks to make it fun. You've got wind, which does affect how you move. You've got, you know, heli basic helicopter physics in here. Um, and yeah, it's not DCS, it's not a flight sim, but you do have all of these nice startup procedures. You can use the winches, you can refuel these. Um, I'm going to do that actually. It's an easy shutdown. Final practical test I've got. So the doors got a little bit stuck on each other, but again, there's lots going on in Stormworks with physics. Um, it's just amazing that these things work at all. Um, yep. So, cool thing about Stormworks is that you can refuel and do all these kind of operational procedures as well. So I always kind of treat it as a mission simulator. So not only can you fly, perform your mission to rescue uh, victims, um, bring them back to hospital, but you can also go and service your helicopter. You can actually weld and repair it if it's got any damage. And you can see here, there's a little fluid connector here. And usually what this means is you can go off, grab one of the hoses, connect it to one of these um, fuel stations so if you parked it inside here, or even just outside, you can grab one of these hoses, like that, you can plug it into one of these things, then you can plug this other side into the helicopter. Um, so a super great mechanic, if you like, inside Stormworks. That's it from the first flight test. This was the Brizzo from the Scarborough collection. I'm not too sure the creator, just look at the beginning of the video, I think it's Jan, um, or Carnival, so, great work uh, and the other thing is here depending on how 
realistically you want to role play, um, you know, you can do your startup and, and shut down procedures. And quite often, no, not on this one, but on many of the other ones, there's a rotor break. So I would normally have turned that rotor break on. Um, but yeah, that is the Brizzle starter helicopter, cheap to build, easy to operate, 130 knots and uh, maximum speed and holds station in up to 65% wind. That's all from me. Hope you enjoy this.